This activity relates to volumes of three dimensional figures. The objective of this activity is to find out a relationship among the volumes of three different figures that is a right circular cone, a hemisphere and a right circular cylinder. But the condition is the three figures should have equal radii and equal heights. Let's understand this concept first. So if you have a cone drawn like this in which there is a particular radii of the base and there is a particular height, the vertical height. If we draw another same base of equal radius that is R is exactly the same as before and we convert it into a hemisphere like this where this part that is the height or the radius of the hemisphere is exactly equal to the height of the cone and then we draw a third figure where the radius is again the same as before and we convert this figure in terms of a right circular cylinder. So again the height has to be same as before. The volume V1 of this cone, the volume V2 of this hemisphere and volume V3 of this cylinder having the same radius and same height can be related in some way. And that is what is the relation we are going to find out using this amazing activity. Let's see what material is required to perform this activity. We need wide drawing sheet of papers, plastic sheets, then a plastic ball, sketch pens, cut, uh, cutting work has to be done using the scissors, the geometry box for measurements and we need gum or glue for pasting work. Let's perform this activity now. In this activity, we have taken a cone, a hemisphere and a cylinder. As you can see, we have pasted the picks also. And these three picks show that the radius and height of the cone, the radius of the hemisphere and the radius and height of the cylinder, all three have to be equal for performing this activity. So we have taken a cone here. You can see a hemisphere here and a cylinder here. So what we are going to do is we are going to fill this cone with sand up to the brim and then pour it in the hemisphere and that we will do two times. So fill the cone two times and pour it in the hemisphere. You will find that the hemisphere gets filled up up to the brim. Next pour three times the cone into the cylinder and you will find that the cylinder also gets filled up to the brim and it shows that the volume of the cone is actually half of the volume of the hemisphere of the same base and same height and the volume of cylinder is actually three times the volume of the cone of the same radius and same height and therefore if you assume that the volume of this cone is one then the volume of the hemisphere comes out to be 2 and the volume of cylinder comes out to be 3 thereby showing that the ratio of the volumes of the three figures is 1 ratio, 2 ratio, 3 which completes our activity.